Hey everybody, Bormac here for a game some of you know, some of you have requested, and uh, a game I have a history with. Before I start, I just kind of want to talk about it. Uh, if you haven't guessed already, this is Eve. I'm playing it through the Steam client, I bought it there, I actually... Uh, had it otherwise, but I figure this will be easier to keep patched. So uh, that's what I have decided to go with for this. I'm going to be playing with uh, my uh, good friend Bear, who you have seen in uh, exactly one Killing Floor session before. I consider him my best friend, and we have a very long history together. Um. He is, uh, super knowledgeable about this game, and, uh, he's gonna be, uh, hand-holding me once I get out of the tutorial, but, uh, that won't be tonight. Tonight, it's, uh, just me flying solo. It will be me again flying solo from time to time. But, uh, for the most part, uh, he's going to be, uh, my wingman, so to speak. <laughs> or I'll be his. That's probably, uh more accurate. <laughs> anyway, uh, Eve, uh, it's a game I've played a fair bit, and a bunch of my, uh, close friends play a lot. I, uh, have a hard time keeping interest in this game. It's not because I dislike it, I just I get stressed out playing it, especially once I uh, start migrating out of the uh, PvE areas, the player versus environment, into the PvP areas, because I am not a competitive gamer. That's uh, just not me. And uh, it stresses me out, I admit. I'm kind of a baby when it comes to that. Some people don't like scary games, some people don't like uh, puzzle games, and I, I just don't like uh, PvP games. It, they get to me. Ah. Anyway, as I do not have a character on this account, uh, the first screen we see here is the Choose Your Race screen. I've already mostly decided this, but uh, let's uh, just uh, hear what the little sound bites have to say, shall we? Once a thriving tribal civilization, the Minmatar were enslaved by the Amar Empire for hundreds of years. Most were freed after a great rebellion, but only at a tremendous cost. Today, the Minmatar Republic is a strong, resurgent nation, determined to win back the glory of its past. Okay. The only true democracy of New Eden, the Galente Federation is a powerful and prosperous multicultural dominion that welcomes outsiders with open arms. Intolerant of closed societies, the Galente are fierce defenders of personal and social liberties. Okay. The Amar Empire is the largest and oldest of the four empires. Ruled by a mighty empress, Amar is a theocratic society capable of selfless acts and unspeakable evil, all in the name of their god. Got anything to say about the Kaldari? Oh. The Kaldari State is a union of powerful mega corporations governed by a strict meritocracy. The state is a fiercely competitive and ruthless society whose hyper capitalistic ways have brought its people both misery and triumph. Alright, uh, for the purposes of this, I'm going to be going with, uh, Kaldari, I do believe, because I want to focus on missiles. As I understand it, cannons, autocannons, drones, lasers, missiles! 
Thistles. Now we get to pick our bloodline. Articulate tongues, positions of authority within military and political spheres, driven by cultural norms that the good of the whole must come before the needs of the individual. They have responsibility of holding integrity of the entire card or a state their own. Uh, sure, it's been part of the Caldera state for three centuries, yet their cultures always remain something of a mystery. Originally from the Saisho system, they are reclusive, introverted, show little interest in the infernal phenomena of the material world. And so spiritual atrophies have only recently taken to the stars, driven in large part by desire to unlock the secrets of the universe. And these guys. Whether engaged in trade or combat, the Severa are absolute masters of focused aggression. Highly competitive individuals, they thrive under chaotic circumstances and frantic activity. They are often employed in highly stressful industrial and military professions due to an innate ability to think quickly on their feet and remain composed under pressure. Uh, I'll go with this. Sure, I am a dude. Thank you. Now I get to customize with the absolutely insane customizer. It's just an absurd amount of detail. Uh, like, uh... And... Uh, Very feminine lips. Ah. <laughs> oh, Dirk Square Jaw. Let's go with skinny. And there's where the, uh, the, uh, that's where the piloting system goes in. Uh, we will be discussing, uh, even its history as we play, so uh, don't worry, we'll get to the piloting system as we play. Okay, how about the body? Uh, can I just go with not ridiculously muscular? forehead piercing as well. Let's get rid of that one. 
No, that's dumb. I don't want it. Okay, get rid of that. Go back to the full body. Uh, toggle clothes. Let's put on some clothes. Feet. Have some boots. Uh, could I, uh, when I'm working with clothes, could I not be modifying the body? Thank you. How about let's not put on ladies' boots? Ooh, what about these? They remind me of Dead Space. I'll go with these, though. Alright. A shirt of some species. Tucking? Are you serious? Tucking options. Give me a break. Here. You will wear this because it looks like uh, armor of some sort. Not that it's going to help you when a ship nails you with a laser. go. Middle layer. Don't want those. Outer? Some sort of coat, I guess? No. That? Sure. Eyes. shape. Put on some more weight. No, skinny. Could I make him fat? Huh. Why did the muscularity get maxed out? He's not m muscular. He's skinny and weak. <laughs> uh, freckles. Yes. Scarring there. Put no aging, just freckles. Lots of freckles. So many freckles! And uh, make him pale. Uh, hair. Not eyes. Not eyes. Thank you. I'm done with eyes. Hair. What in the world just happened? <laughs> hair. Elvis? Completely bald. Man, he looks terrible. Let's, uh, darken that complexion a little bit. Oh. Okay, let's just go back to where it was. Freckles! Okay, back to hair. <laughs> no, I don't think so. That's a little silly. hair selection thing. Calm down. What about this short buzz cut? With a little mini mohawk. Or is that like a reverse mohawk? It's kind of what it looks like in th at this point. Uh... Okay. Skin details? 
good enough. Now I have to make a portrait for him. Oh. Poses. off there. Backgrounds. Uh... <laughs> sure. <laughs> now I need one that looks really uh, cheerful. Uh, I don't think the EU characters do cheerful very well. You only get to use one picture, though. Wow, very boring backgrounds. Well, I would like one that looks kind of like an aquarium, but I don't see one. Let's go with a generic galaxy picture then. Neutral facial expression activate. Okay, then. Now we get to choose our ancestry. Cold discipline of Kaldari society did not appeal to everyone, and nor is everyone happy with the stranglehold corporate rules have on everyday life. While not outright rebellious dissenters, nonetheless, invest considerable time and effort in trying to change the system from within. The state keeps a close eye on these individuals. A deep fascination with the brutality of battle for these brazen individuals. The promise of steady combat is what drives the eager sale of their own services to the highest bidder. Uh, the War Academy. Dragon. Something. 
something combat. I'm gonna go with something. I don't remember exactly what bonuses the, these. Sure. You can change it later, I think. 